Welcome to the Dr. Aaron Show. May you live your truth. Live from Los Angeles, this is Dr. Aaron. We come together each day to know the truth, live on spiritual principle, and align with universal law. We also come together as a community in Soul Society, committed to being the number one spiritual leaders community in the world. We're all about enlightenment, empowerment, and entrepreneurship because we truly believe that when someone awakens, they bring a gift and a message to bring to the world. Our mission is to awaken a billion people, and how we do that is by developing world-class spiritual leaders. So let's do this thing, you guys. Okay, so let's talk about leaving your legacy, the opus. Deepak Chopra said, everyone has a purpose in life, a unique gift or special talent to give to others. And when we blend this unique talent with service to others, we experience the ecstasy and exaltation of our own spirit, which is the ultimate goal of all goals. So I believe that we all truly desire to leave a footprint on this life. I truly believe that we are immortal and we're also human in this persona, in this form. And so there is this kind of feeling like what happens when we leave here, right? Knowing the eternalness of who we are, but also the total mortalness of us. So Antonio Lucy Vivaldi was born on March 4th, 1678 in Venice, Italy. He was considered one of the most renowned classical composers to ever live. This prolific artist left his life with, literally left hundreds of pieces of grand symphonies, concertos, and masterpieces. His story is amazing, in my opinion, because he left this masterpiece, this legacy behind his consciousness here for us to, you know, have our lives more beautiful. His story begins as a little boy who lived in, uh, I believe he lived in Venice, yeah, in Venice, and he loved the violin. He played with his father and other famous musicians, because I think his father played with famous musicians. And he actually he became an ordained priest, um, but didn't last very long because he loved, he loved his art, he loved his music. So Zav- Vivaldi was a master of teaching what I consider the law of eternality. He knew his mortality. He knew that he had to leave something behind. So he left a legacy, a body of work and gifts to this life that that live beyond. They live now. They live and breathe as him, right? So this law, the law of eternality, states that your true essence has no beginning or end because you are a ceaseless creative source. There's no space or time in the spiritual realm. There's only one life, one mind, one spirit. Healing and heaven are in the present moment. And this is an immutable, unchangeable law, the aspect of you that is part of you that is this immortal, eternal aspect, the knowingness of who you truly are. So Vivaldi embodied his work in such a profound level that he became an icon of classical music. He lived it, he breathed it, he created it, and he gave his gift away to the world everywhere he went. And in doing so, he was recognized and loved for his gift of music. People adored him and they still adore him. What people might not know about Vivaldi is that his talent did not necessarily translate into financial success. He did not die a rich, rich man, but his life was full of riches. And I think that's the point here is that, yes, I believe we can truly claim our birthright of prosperity and leave our legacy, but it doesn't mean it always is both. We have a profound ability to leave a footprint or a fingerprint on this life in many, many ways, one of which can claim your birthright of prosperity and some do not. So there was an actual movie produced around this figure, Vivaldi. Um, It was called the Opus. And basically the Opus is the legacy you leave behind in this lifetime. So Douglas Vermeeren produced the movie The Opus, and he said, The Opus is about creating your own personal legacy. The question is, what will you do during your brief time on Earth? What will you be remembered for? Will this planet be a better place because you are here or a worse place? How can you accomplish the things you dream about most and create your grand legacy? I truly believe at some level we, we have a knowing, we have a, we have a desire to leave a legacy 
Each person born on this planet arrives with the potential to create an incredible legacy, but only some people do. And I believe it's one of the regrets we have on our deathbed. And, you know, of course, maybe to love more, to live more, to have left something behind, whatever that is. And so asking yourself, what is your opus? What's yours to do? What do you want to be remembered for? What do you want to spend your time in this lifetime doing? What do you want to embody? What do you desire to experience? Who do you have to become to live that vision? So the law of attraction basically is states that what we embody is what becomes our life becomes, right? The law of attraction, the mental equivalent, if you will, the embodiment of whatever it is that you truly desire to experience. So the law of attraction is not about sitting in meditation and envisioning what you desire. It is about the embodiment of that which you desire to experience. So if you desire to be wealthy, then be someone who embodies great wisdom of wealth and how to create wealth and helping others to become wealthy, right? If you desire to be an Oscar winning actor, then embody the skills to be the best possible actor and the know-how of, of getting that into production. If you desire to experience love, then be the most loving person you know and really begin to understand what other people need for their love to be fulfilled. You are not here to win the rat race of materialism. You're here to experience the depths of your soul in form. Potentially, the highest yield is to measure yourself by the number of people that you touch in this lifetime. I'll say that again, and this is what I truly believe legacy is. Potentially, the highest yield is to measure yourself by the number of people that you touch in this lifetime. Or maybe it is to produce the experience of being fully alive. So no matter the vision, whatever you embody is what form your life takes place. You are the greatest product. Be legendary. And so on that note, I know perfection of this day, knowing that people are awakening and people are tired of keeping up with the Jones, that there's something more emerging, happiness, fulfillment, true depth fulfillment. And that's what I think we're here. You can have all the money in the world and be bankrupt. Money, yes, Money's a beautiful thing. It's another aspect of God. And I truly believe that we can have both abundance and a legacy and a fulfillment. But I believe if people just go for money, they generally are not very happy. So what is your purpose and calling? And how do you bring that into making a difference in the world? That's the true, that's true wealth, in my opinion. So true wealth is your very essence. You are an abundant spiritual being, infinite innovator and extraordinary creator. You are worth more than all the money in the world on all the planet and your consciousness has the wisdom to liberate everything on this planet. Wealth is a state of being, which means you bring your wealth to everything and everyone. Wealth is being helpful everywhere you go. It is serving, giving, expressing in a way of being that the world reflects to you that which you are. And so asking again, what is your legacy? So today's universal law is the law of eternality. Your true essence has no beginning or end because who you are is the ceaseless creative source. There is no space or time in the spiritual realm. There is only one life, one mind, one spirit. Healing and heaven are in the present moment. This immutable and unchangeable aspect of you is the part of you that is eternal. You are immortal. And so knowing this, you are immortal and you are very human in your persona. So what do you want to leave behind for your eternality? Vivaldi was a master of this. So today's practice is to live with intention. What limiting beliefs do you have about the creative expression and dreaming? Did you, were you around people that thought dreaming and making a difference in the world was only for, you know, delusional people, for those artists and creators, but, you know, not for you, or maybe you feel like you're too old or too young, or maybe your parents, you know, taught you that you have to, you know, struggle and hustle for work and that you need to pay your bills and that you don't get to be creative and leave some legacy. What did your culture tell you about being creative? What did the movies tell you about being creative? What did the media and magazines and social media have told you about leaving a legacy? Maybe that you need millions and millions and millions upon dollars to do it. Is that a lie? Is that a limiting belief? So 
beginning to list the times you handed your power over to doing the right thing instead of really taking the risk and fulfilling upon your dreams and your legacy. Taking inventory. You know, what is it that you really want to do? Having that hard conversation with you yourself in the mirror and asking yourself, you know, who do you need to be? What do you need to embody to fulfill upon your mission here, upon your purpose and calling and upon the legacy that you want to leave to your family or for the world or for whatever that is. And so today's challenge is to take 10 minutes to journal. What would you like to be remembered for? What will the world remember you for, right? So will the world be a better place or a worse place because of you? And whose lives would you like to positively impact, you know? What would you like to master in this lifetime? And so on that note, I just know you are the legacy, that as you embody the legacy of whatever it is touching people's lives, and it doesn't have to be some masterpiece of uh, concerto, right? It may be the most loving person that touched and helped and healed people. And I know society, we are a community of spiritual leaders, and that's really the legacy that we're leaving. We're leaving people healed. We're leaving the legacy of completing DNA cycles in family lineage and allowing people to really take back the true power that they are, really birth their their specific values, what they're committed to, birthing their purpose and calling, and really giving people a life that is so fulfilled. And so it's such an honor to be leaving my legacy here through Soul Society, through the different um, platforms I run, and just knowing that anyone can leave a grand legacy. Have a beautiful day and may you live your truth. Thanks again for tuning in to Dr. Aaron and Soul Society podcast. I'd like to invite you to write a review on iTunes. Also, I have a free gift for you, a money meditation and worksheet, which you can find at soulciety.com. That's www.soulciety.com. Or 30 Guided Meditations at drerin.tv. That's www.drerin.tv. We also hold monthly Soul Society events that are all about transformation and building extraordinary community. You can also watch me live daily on goodmorninglalaland.com or Instagram at drerin.tv. Grab your free Manifestation Masterclass with the purchase of my international best-selling book, Awakening, a 40-day guide to unleashing your spiritual powers, life purpose, and manifesting your dreams at erinfallhaskell.com forward slash awakening book.